Thank you for your interest in the Proviso Public Partnership Golf Outing this year. I'm Mike Corrigan. I'm the board president of Proviso Township Mental Health Commission. We're excited this year because the proceeds from this year's golf outing is going to go to exclusively fund a new initiative for the youth of Proviso Township. We're calling it SPY, which is Strengthening Proviso Youth. We formed Strengthening Proviso Youth to support our youth so that they can grow up in a safe, supportive, and thriving community and become successful both in career, college, but really in being good citizens. We took a look around the country and um, found um, the Search Institute had done a lot of research and found that there are 40 assets that youth, if they have those assets, grow up to be very um, successful and good citizens. And when we follow the 40 developmental assets, we begin to let them know what is expected of them. And it also sets boundaries. Uh, we felt that having a bigger, broader uh, goal and initiative to help the youth would be uh, more beneficial to, to the community. And we felt that this year's golf outing would help kick that off, make people more aware and, and get people more involved. And, and we're excited about that. And they've done research that shows a dramatic um, decrease in youth-involved violence and youth-involved alcohol uh, for youth that have the most developmental assets. If you um, live in a neighborhood that have children in the neighborhood, you should make sure that you know the names of all those children and that they know your name. Um, so that they know that there's an adult, another adult in the area that, that really cares for them and maybe looking out for them. What we refer to the adults in this initiative is a um, asset champion. And so you are going to be the person that mentors that youth. You're going to help that youth build their self-esteem. And it's approaching it from a different outlook. Instead of reflecting on the negative, you focus on the positive and say, let's see what we can do differently to make the outcome better. Um, if you own a business, maybe you can offer a, um, a volunteer uh, position or just a tour through your facility, but to embrace the child and make them again feel like a, a responsible part of society. Our youth are, are critical to uh, our economy and you know to our neighborhoods, to our families, to our community, and it's uh, something that we need to impact and needs attention uh, because there's been fall off, as we all know. Uh, there's a lot of data out there that's uh, alarming, and we need to. We feel that we need to do something about that, and we felt this is one way that we could help. Everybody can do something different, even if it's I'm out gardening in my yard. Do it in the morning when kids are going to school and make sure that you're saying, Hi Johnny, how are you? Have a good day at school because you're reinforcing school and, and it's good and that you're, you're, you're watching out for him. This is both for, it's for all youth, girls, boys, from age toddler up through adulthood. Um, every one of them needs to feel respected and important that they have something to contribute to society and we all play a role in that. We're going to see less violence, we're going to see more self-esteem, we're going to see better employees, um, we're going to see prouder parents and um, happier neighbors. We want people not only to get involved, but we need, we need money, we need resources. We have a lot of interest, we have enthusiasm, we have people, but unfortunately we need money to, to make this work in order to do the things that we need to do and expand it. So anything that you can do to help us in that regard it would, be, would be terrific.